let's do some math for fun. Here we have this question from brilliant work again. We have let n and k be natural numbers so that 6n over 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus da 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 plus n. This right here is equal to k. And at the end, we want to find the sum of all such n. First of all, n and k are natural numbers, meaning that they are positive whole numbers. And sometimes some people will include 0 to be a natural number, but in this case, it doesn't really matter, okay? So now, let's just kind of break this down to see what's going on. Well, if you have an n value, as you can see, the left-hand side is a fraction-looking expression, but the moment you choose that n value and you work this out, that fraction is actually a whole number, right? So let me just kind of try it out to see how it goes. So let me just say, let me pick an n value, let's say n is equal to 4. And in that case, I will just plug in 4 into this n and that n. On the top, I will just have 6 times 4. And on the bottom, it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3. And I will just stop it at 4 because that's the last one, which is the n value that I pick, which is 4, right? And you can just work this out real quick. 4 times 6 is 24, and then 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. And this you divide, you can use decimal, which is 2.4, but this is no good. This is not k, because k has to be a positive whole number, namely a natural number. So, n is equal to 4, it's not one of these choice, right? I want to see how we can get all the good choice for n so that this right here actually ends up to be a whole number. n is equal to 4, doesn't work. And now, here is the deal. As we can see, perhaps the most complicated part is this. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n, right? And of course, I know some of you guys know the formula for that already, but let me just spend some time to show you how I will come with a formula for this, alright? There are so many ways, and in fact, I did this in a previous video as well, but let me just do this again, alright? So, I want to just observe 1 plus 2 plus 3, and yes, I am using a blue pen, right? This right here. To do this, I want to get a formula for that. I am going to just look at the partial sums. So let me write down S1 to be just 1, right? That means the first term right here by itself. S2 means 1 plus 2, which is going to be 3. You add the first two terms together like this. And if you look at the result, 1, 3, 6, 10, our goal is to figure out a formula for these numbers, right? So that's going to give us the Sn formula, namely the formula for that, right? And to do this, and I know the answer is n times n plus 1 all over 2. You have so many ways to do it, but let me just continue to do it this way for you guys. Okay, so what I would like to do is, in fact, I'm just going to write this down. I will just put this down right here, right? I need to get a formula for 1, 3, 6, 10, and so on, right? And right here, this is saying n should start with 1, right, because I started 1. But it doesn't have to be, because I can include 0. So in fact, let me just do this on purpose. Let me say 0 plus this. And this is still legit, because 0 adding it with anything is still the same, right? And if I'm 0, I'm going to talk about s sub 0. And this is just going to be 0, right? So in fact, I will be looking at a formula for these numbers. 0, 1, 3, 6, 10, and so on. And now, this is what we'll do. From 0 to 1, this is plus 1. And from 1 to 3, this is plus 2. From 3 to 6, is plus 3. And then plus 4, and so on, right? These numbers are not the same yet, but we can do it again. If you look at the difference between 1 and 2, this is plus 1. From 2 to 3, is again, and so on, right? And the moment that you see the difference are the same already, you can stop, because the next one just plus 0 anyways, right? All right, so now, in fact, we have the answer already. All we need is to look at this number, this number, and this number, right? And this is where the magic begins. Okay, I am not sure what color to use, but anyway. First of all, you have to put down 0 times and choose 0. 0 goes right here, and you multiply by and choose 0, and that's a binomial coefficient, right? And then you add it with, you put down this one, and because this is the first level, you multiply it by and choose 1, right? And then we have this one, you add it with 1 times
times this is the second level, so we have n choose 2, like that. And this right here is precisely a formula for that, right? And in fact, we can work this out. And we'll stop right here because, as I said, the next one will be just plus 0, plus 0. If you keep going, you have a bunch of 0 anyway, right? Let me just figure this out algebraically, right? An algebraic formula in a polynomial sense. It's much better. This is just 0, so no big deal. n choose 1 is just n times 1 is still n. And n choose 2 is n times n minus 1 all over 2 times 1 is still that. And as we can see, we can just get the common denominator right here. And what we are going to get is we will have a 2 on the denominator. And you know this is going to be n squared and then minus n. 2n minus n is just n, right? And let's write down n squared first and then plus n. Of course, it's just like that. And of course, finally, if you would like, you can just factor out the n. And this is the formula I know you guys, you know, you guys could put down like a, uh, two or three minutes ago, something like that. Anyway, this is n times n plus 1 over 2. All right, now, of course, you should have a close form, and that's the one that we got. And let's just observe the following. Let's look at 6n over. On the left-hand side, we have a complex fraction. So let's fix that. So let's multiply the top and bottom by 2. So that this 2 and that 2 will cancel out, right? And in the meantime, you see, this is n, and we also have n right here, so we can cancel this 2 and out as well. And you will see, this is just 12 on the left-hand side, and then we have over the denominator, n plus 1, right? And this is equal to k. Let me just put this down. So in another way, we see 12 is equal to k times n plus 1. So this is an expression that we have, right? Okay, now, keep in mind, k has to be a whole number, likewise for n. And 12, we can just break it down into its factors. We just ask ourselves, what times 1 is equal to 12? And we should be able to write 12 as a product of two numbers, and we should just list them out, and that's pretty much the deal. And that's pretty straightforward. Kind of cool, huh? So now let's see, 12, observe that. First choice is we can say 12 is equal to 1 times 12. And based on this, you can take k to be 1 when n is equal to, well, we want to have n plus 1 to end up with 12. So n it shall be 11, right? But anyway, let me just list out all the factors of 12 first. So the next one could be 2 times 6, and the next one is 3 times 4, and then the next one is 4 times 3. And the reason I put this down is because I'm saying here k is 4, while this right here was saying, k was 3, right? So I do want to change the water a little bit for you guys. And the next one is going to be 6 times 2, it pretty much refers to water. And lastly, we have 12 times 1, right? Okay, now, this right here are the possible k values, and that's all the factors that we have for 12, right? And this right here will tell us the n value. Okay, n plus 1 is equal to 12. This tells us that n is equal to 11, right? And likewise, if you want to have n plus 1 to end up with 6, that means n is equal to 5. And likewise, this tells n has to be 0. So this, in fact, are the possible n values. And you see, earlier when I used n is equal to 4, I did not end up with a whole number. Only these values, you end up with a whole number, right? So when you add them up, the sum is equal to 22. So the answer to this is 22, right? Really cool, isn't it? Thank you guys for watching the video, and also thanks to Brilliant.Work for sponsoring this video. I'd really like to go to the website to do my for fun, especially I've been out of school for so many years. So I need to go to the website to stay in shape. That's the best part. Especially, they do offer a lot of awesome courses, such as number series, algebra, complex analysis, calculus, all the things you can imagine. And the questions sometimes are pretty difficult. I think a lot of you guys will like it. Especially, you can just go to their community page, and you can see a lot of discussions there, and you can also work on their problems of the week for free. And to support my channel, one of the best ways is just go use the link right here, brilliant.work slash blackpen, redpen. 
And if you are one of the first 200 people who go to the link and sign up for the annual premium subscription, Brilliant will also offer you a 20% off discount. And that's the premium subscription they have right now. So you guys can actually expect me to work out more questions from Brilliant.Work later on in the future because they do have a lot of interesting questions. And of course, we like to do math for fun, isn't it? Anyway, thank you guys so much and please check out the link and that's the best way to support me. And also it's a lot of fun as well. That's it.